Welcome to today's daily message. I want to begin today's reflection with a story uh, that happened to me many years ago when I was a Eucharistic minister in a parish in North St. Louis City that is now uh, long gone, St. Edward's Parish. One of the people I was assigned to bring communion to was a woman who lived on Terry Avenue. And uh, when I went into her house, I noticed that in the second room, there was a crib, a rather large crib. And so we celebrated the Eucharist, uh, receiving communion rather. And then uh, she asked me if I wanted to see who was in the crib. And I said, well, sure, I'd love to do that. And she brought me back and here was a young man, probably about 15 years of age. His limbs were severely deformed and contorted in different directions. And this young man couldn't do anything for himself and he couldn't even speak. And so I asked the woman, well, is he your son or your grandson? And she said, oh no, he's, he's neither. She said, uh, he belongs to the woman down the street. She told me about a year ago that she could no longer take care of him. She couldn't handle it. And so I just took him in. I can remember being utterly amazed, dumbfounded at the love and compassion that this woman showed. And she did it without any kind of thought of seeking recognition for it. She is what I consider to be one of the many small saints in the world, people whose accomplishments and heroism will never be known or rarely uh, be known. And I bring this up because of what Jesus says in the gospel reading today. He says that, Amen, I say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist, yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. I'm sure you can think of people who are considered the least by worldly standards, but who in fact are great saints in the eyes of God. And so I ask you to think about who those people are, some of those people are today, and to give thanks to God for them and to know that they are among the first in the reign of God.